the book that I chose is Minding the Body, Mending the Mind. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Uh, it's by Joan Borsinko. She wrote the book first back in 1987. And at that time in my life, I was going through a lot of challenges. Uh, I needed to find a book to do a project on in my graduate studies. And so this book found uh, its way into my hands. It actually revisits a lot of traps that we find ourselves in um, personally and a lot of some of the mind games that we play with ourselves. The book that I've chosen is Empowering Yourself, The Organizational Game Reveal. It is a book by Harvey J. Coleman. You work hard and you give 110%, you will be rewarded. And that worked for me for several years. And then all of a sudden, it stopped. And that book really resonated with me because it talked about it has to be more than just performance in order to get recognized and to get promoted. I will start for the author. She's Brené Brown. I pick up this book is because it talks about topics I used to hate. It talks about vulnerability. It talks about fear. It talks about shame. And those were things I used to hate and push it back every single time. I chose uh, Design for Success. Um, it's actually a recent book that I read. I got it from the library here. Dante, the author, talks a lot about um, just being a well-rounded, kind of positive person, um, so not focusing so much on any one particular attribute. You know, I, I think about the whole idea of Women's History Month and, you know, why isn't there a Men's History Month and what should there be a People's History Month? Um, I think it's a moment to pause and to think about the contributions that um, women have made. You know what, I think we live in a culture where, where never is enough. Never anything is good enough, is smart enough, it's questioning if we are good, the good wife, we are good enough, we are the right partners, we are the right daughters. So we go through this period of our time and I think it hits more on women, on questioning how we really are, how we feel and how we should be. I think all history is important. Um, we learn from our history. It's where we decide where we've made mistakes and how we can excel in the future. And hopefully women's history will inspire uh, both women um, and men to always achieve uh, greatness and excel in all that they do. So I think my one piece of advice would be that you can't do it all. Uh, none of us is perfect. And we need to give ourselves a little bit of a break. Define your definition of success. Everybody's definition isn't the same. And it's all about what, how, what you're willing to sacrifice in order to be successful. And then create a plan and make it happen. You know, and we can't do it alone. So we got to connect with other people and not stand back and wait for our promotions to come to us. We have to meet it head on. What I learned is that you have to be yourself. It's all about authenticity, enjoy the ride. This is not perfect, we will make mistakes, but it's part of the process. Any woman um, and anybody that really works here to, to focus on what you have in your power to change. Uh, don't get caught up in what might be happening to somebody else or what you wish would happen. Uh, focus on the things that you have in your wheelhouse, your strengths, and build upon those to be the best person that you can be.